All right, well, uh, fire signs, my apologies. Let's see what messages we have from my fire signs. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, so Angel of Space Clear in Sagittarius. It says it's time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. All right. Let's see what we have for Aries. What guidance do we have? All right, Aries. We have the angel of prayer. It says, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Okay. For Leo, give me God. All right, Leo. We have God of the underworld. It says, something which no longer serves you is about to end. All right, so the underlying message for all of my fire signs, goddess of oneness. It says, someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. Okay, do you? All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for Thursday, October the 3rd, 2019. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thursday, October the 3rd, 2019. All right, so we have the Page of Wands here. I feel like there's some good news on the way with this King of Swords. Someone could be coming in with some good news. Um, you could be finding some new passion here. Someone could be being true to themselves. Queen of Cups here. So it could be dealing with a water sign female, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could also be about self-love, especially with this Four of Swords. So I feel like someone has retreated from themselves and really started to put some time, effort, and energy into loving themselves. All right, so the surrounding energy, Ace of Swords, I feel like there's going to be some clarity here. Someone retreated, and there's going to be some clarity here. Tower, yes, Revelations, most definitely here. Eight of Swords here. So someone is in a space of really lacking confidence, King of Swords here, really needing to speak truth. I feel like someone is holding on to themselves internally. God damn. I feel like you need to be in alignment with, with self-love at the moment. I do feel like there's going to be some truth, though. Revelation. Something's going to be revealed. Either to you internally or externally here. Because I do feel like somebody being petty. Queen of Cups here. Why is this Queen of Cups here? So we have Tower here. Tower here, Death card, Fool card here. So there is an unexpected transformation here. I do feel like um, someone is in a space of really having a clean slate, but they're confused about it. Um, so someone here is, I, I do feel like this could be either you going through a transformation, realizing that something has to end in order for you to move forward. So I do feel like maybe you're in your head about that, needing to make a decision. Needing to make a loving decision for self. Four of swords here. Why is this four of swords here? I do feel like you realize that something has ended. And someone, if you're dealing with the water sign, they could have moved on. And you could realize this now. So with the ace, uh, I mean with the magician here, I do feel like you're in kind of this retreat type mode at a crossroads here. Really trying to go within yourself spiritually. Trying to understand what it is that you need to be manifesting. What it is that you need to be having patience on. What it is that you need to be establishing your strength. You're in the space of trying to have mental clarity. Trying to see what it is that you need to do moving forward. Check out the air sign reading. So ace of swords in the surrounding energy. Why is this ace of swords here in the surrounding energy? Why is this ace of swords here in the surrounding energy? Three of swords here, seven of swords, that's ten swords here. So someone was in a heartbreaking, deceptive type of situation, really putting in futile efforts. Like Someone was really fighting for a situation that was unstable, and someone is seeing that. That is the mental clarity here. So ten swords here, embracing the end of that difficult situation. Nine of wands here, overcoming that situation. Now ace of swords, someone has mental clarity. There may have, they may have been conflicted within themselves before, but now someone has legit mental clarity revelations tower here in the subconscious why is tower here in the subconscious queen empress here so I now I feel like someone someone's walked away here I do feel like someone is at a stalemate here wanting to restore peace to a situation here could be dealing with the Taurus Libra here there's a tower moment that happens here page of swords here because there's some truths that are unveiled because eight of cups somebody walked away so I feel like here you either walked away from a Gemini or you walked away from someone like a lover I do feel like maybe there could be some tarnished feelings because there's a blockage here, but somebody's trying to break, break through the blockage. So either, now for some of you guys, if you're the empress, someone, 
<clears throat> maybe realizing they have to break through the stalemate, like they have to make a decision. They could be at the space of Page of Swords really needing to see clearly. I do feel like if you block someone, they are spying on you and you may realize this or they may get caught or something like that. But I feel like they're in a space of feeling wrapped up or feeling caught up or stuck in a situation and a decision needs to be made. Why is this Eight of Cups here? I mean, why is this Eight of Swords here? So we have Hierophant here. Someone feels like they're stuck in a relationship and they're internally conflicted here. They know that you make them happy. Sagittarius energy here, Gemini energy here, uh, Aquarian energy here, Sun energy here. Someone knows that you make them happy, but they're caught up in their own wrapped up they're wrapped up in their own shit so somebody's wrapped up in their own shit it could be a relationship it could be it could be dealing with the taurus could be dealing with the virgo um there are some conflicts that may be going on someone's wrapped up in some shit point blank period and there's going to be a revelation here so something's going to be re revealed and it's going to put someone in a space of feeling like oh my god i think i may have fucked up and gotten myself stuck in a situation or stuck in something stuck in some shit Somebody feels like they stuck in some shit. There's a tower here that is happening here. I feel like there could have been a fight. You could um, be needing to be in alignment with releasing. Releasing the unsteady behavior. I feel like if there isn't mental clarity to what it is that you want, either physically or emotionally, I do feel like this tower is going to like, like legit, like I said, have you wrapped up in your own shit. So let's see what messages we have. I do feel like someone needs to like remove those sores, remove those thoughts, and just allow themselves to be free. You feel me? Overcome the anxiety. So what messages do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius. All right, so we have Illumination, Skull of Light, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to be finding out, like I said. You're going to be finding out some shit. Um, somebody here was doing a lot of mischief. Revelations here. Whew. All right. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, we have forgiveness here. So I do feel like there are some burdens that need to be released. You may, you hold the keys to forgiving someone or either forgiving yourself so that you can move forward out of this cold, dark energy. What messages do we have? <clears throat> for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages do we have? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what messages do we have? All right, Leo, we have Skull of Flowers. So, Leo, I do feel like you're going to be creating through the ashes. Something has ended. Something burned down to the ground, but I feel like you're going to be creating something beautiful out of this. So, for some reason, I feel like these are connected. I feel like that maybe for some of you guys, you found out some information here. You decided to lay the burdens down of whatever the situation is, and now you're creating something new through the ashes or the destruction of what was. That's all I got. Until next time, y'all. Peace.